I am beating every N64 game, and I mean all of them. The twist is, the next game I play is randomly selected, so I have no clue what's coming next. This is the journey to beating every N64 game. Game number 67, Chokukan Nai Pro Yaku King. Released in 1996, this game was developed by Genki and published by Imagineer. We're back to baseball once again, and it's a Japanese exclusive game. These will use the Nippon Professional Baseball League rather than the MLB. Honestly, these Japanese baseball games have been pretty fun so far. They're generally a lot different than the ones we get in the US. The main single player mode in this game is the pennant, so we will complete that to beat this game. Uh, by the way, I wanted to throw out for these Japanese games, there are a ton of English translation guides on game facts by uh, a guy named Who Was Phone and uh, I've been using them. They've helped a ton for this challenge. Really, really helped out. So I'll put a link to those in the description. And um, yeah, just thanks for those. Normally a season in the NPB is 130 games, but thankfully you can adjust that down to just five games in this one. I decided to play as the Yomiuri Giants as they were really strong in Power League 64. The first match was against the Hanshin Tigers. Gameplay for this one has a very arcade style to it. I mean, you can just tell by the character models that this isn't trying trying to be a realistic game. One thing that was really rough was it doesn't show an indicator for where a pitch is going to end up when you're batting. I think this makes it feel more like it would for a real batter, but I don't think it works so well for a video game, you know? I really appreciated that in between pitches or when someone gets out or between innings, there's just very little downtime. Baseball has a ton of breaks in the action, and this game does a great job at cutting down on that. It actually took me until the third inning to get my first hit, mostly because it was hard to judge where the pitch was going. However, I was doing very well at fielding too. The controls are very intuitive and controlling players feels really nice. This is the best feeling baseball game for fielding that I've had so far. The graphics in this, they're not the best, but it's one of the earliest titles on the N64. There's a very enthusiastic commentator yelling the entire game. I have no clue what he's saying, but it sure sounds like he's making it exciting. Then you hear that same song from Power League 64 that sounds like some military marching song. I don't... it's a weird song to play during baseball. His first game was basically a complete stalemate. No one was getting any hits, it was generally just three outs immediately for both teams. I had a sick diving catch in the seventh inning, which was pretty awesome. Yo, put him on ESPN, let's go. Even the diving physics work really smoothly. However, in the 8th inning, all that changed. The other team got a home run on me. The announcer gets even more excited and it plays a special cutscene for it. It just feels horrible when that happens to you, you know? I ended up losing this one, so I just started the pennant over again. No point in starting out 0-1. This time around, I realized I had missed a setting before the game. There actually is an option to have a pitching indicator. And oh my god, it felt like a completely different game. Just in the first inning, I was hitting the ball so often. It felt like that episode of the Fairly Odd Parents where King Arthur gets glasses and he's like, I, I can see! I can fight! I even got a run scored in the first inning, which I didn't get close to in that first game. Unfortunately, I don't know any of these players in this league. The only one I do know, you may know as well. On the Giants, they have the great Hideki Matsui. And man, he's completely OP in this game. The computer scored as well in the first inning, then I got a second run in the second inning. After that, it was pretty uneventful with no one else scoring the entire game. I won the first game 2-1. to one. After a game finishes, it simulates all the CPU matches then you go into the next. Game 2 was against the Yakult Swallows. I learned during this game that sometimes when you strike a batter out, they literally become frozen. Not sure what they could do about that, but hopefully that guy's okay. And then if you get a really big home run, it does a special animation where the screen blacks out. I think it does this if you hit it out of the park. This game was actually so eventful. A couple batters after that home run, I hit a line drive right up the middle. It smacked their pitcher right in the face and... <laughs> He never got back up. Like, I hope he's okay. That was pretty brutal looking. If the batter strikes out without even swinging, they get turned to stone. 
I guess that's even worse than ice. The game was tied 5-5 and went to extra innings. Then in the bottom of the 10th inning, I got a massive walk-off home run. Yes! Let's go, dude! Yes! It just feels so good when that happens. Game 3 was against the Yokohama Bay Stars. I took them down 0-3, then I played the Chunichi Dragons, who I beat 4-2. Finally, Game 5 was against the Hiroshima Toyo Carp. They must have been bad, because we beat them 7-1. For being in first place at the end of the season, it plays a strange cutscene, showing all the teams celebrating on the field with their mascot. Then it shows an even weirder cutscene for the league MVP, where they're on a car holding a gigantic key. That's pretty cool, the MVP gets a car as a prize, that actually is pretty neat. After winning the regular season, you go to the championship match to win the entire league. We were up against the Chibalo Marines. In the third inning, the Giants had a really big rally with three consecutive drives to center field, getting two runs in. Then in the fourth, the Giants get yet another run, putting them up three to nothing. The Giants came to play today with a home run in the sixth inning. Now in the seventh, the Marines down five to nothing. They try to fight back, getting a rally of hits to put the score five to three. But then in the eighth, the Giants kill that momentum with another home run, putting them up six to three. Marines just couldn't recover from that point, and the Giants take the NPB championship six to three. It shows a brief cutscene with some balloons flying in celebration, then the credits roll. One other feature this game offers is the ability to create your own players. You can change their name, hand they use to bat, field, or throw, and adjust their stats. There's quite a bit of customization for how they look as well. It's neat, because if you really wanted, you could create a bunch of players and make your own rosters for all the teams. But yeah, that's about it. Game complete. So there you have it, my journey to beating Chokukan Knight Pro Yaku King. This one kind of surprised me. When you get a sports game, you get worried about it being janky due to the physics being so old, but this one wasn't like that at all. It honestly reminds me a lot of that old game series Backyard Baseball on the PC. I like the cartoony design of the characters, and this is the best fielding physics I've experienced on an N64 baseball game. The graphics could definitely be better, but it is a very old game after all. I gave it a 6 out of 10 for enjoyability, which is really good for a sports game, and a 2.5 out of 10 for difficulty. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Have a sneak peek at the next game. 324 games on the list. Anything could be picked. What will it be? We will find out together. 3, 2, 1, go. 127. What's that? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. All right, we are playing Django Simulation Mahjong Do 64. But uh, yeah, if you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. It helps the channel a lot. And if you like this series, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one.